The food system is complex and it's large and it's going to take all of us to create solutions and so these public-private partnerships that we're involved in are extremely important. We partner with the USDA which has an interest in seeing farmers being successful as well as consumers being healthy. We partner with for-profit companies that are on the cutting edge of using sustainable production practices and are looking to invest in a new way of doing food systems. One of the partnerships that we had with USDA is around food safety. It's something called the Group GAP food safety certification option. Most farmers are required to have a food safety certification and they call that GAP, or Good Agricultural Practices. Now that can be expensive for farmers, uh, it can be a barrier to entry of the market, and so having a group option that distributes the costs and helps bring training and capacity to those growers so they can access those markets effectively is an option that we developed hand in hand with USDA. We had funding from the Walmart Foundation to support this. Farmers face a lot of challenges in getting that food from the farm to the plate, whether it be distribution, marketing, uh, cold chain type attributes. Every purchase that you're making at a farmer's market where the, far the farmers are coming from the local surrounding area, that's money that's being reinvested into the local economy. One of the, the biggest benefits of shopping at a farmer's market is that you have that immediate connection with the person who's growing your food. You see the same farmer every week, you can shake their hand, you see the dirt under their fingernails, um, and you can really have a conversation with them about how they grew their product, um, you know, what methods they use, what's going on on the farm right now. Fresh Farm and several other markets in the city partner with an organization called DC Greens. That's a, a food-based um, organization in DC. They, in partnership with the Department of Health of Washington, D.C., operate a program called Produce Plus. And Produce Plus uh, gives $10 vouchers to low-income shoppers at the market, which maximizes, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's SNAP or Medicaid or, you know, WIC, Senior Nutrition Benefits, um, if they have any sort of federal nutrition program that they're eligible for, they can come to the market and get those voucher checks. Innovation in the value chain is going to be essential to growing more local and regional and healthy food systems. When we think about innovation, we think about ways of shortening the supply chain that allows us to keep the value of the, of the food and the products in the regions from which those innovations came. And we also think about ownership. We're seeing more and more large buyers pursue a sustainability agenda. They see that there's a business case in there for it. It helps them to manage risk and it helps them to be more profitable. Consumer preferences are changing. Consumers want healthy products. They want to know where their food comes from. They want to see these large companies authentically pursue a healthy and environmentally sound and affordable food system. The average food product travels thousands of miles, comes on uh, large trucks across our highway system, dependent upon fossil fuels for the most part. If you want a more sustainable food system, try to look in your backyard.